Up first, we have Marcelo Hernandez Castillo. Marcelo. Hi, everyone. Hi, I'm going to read your bio, and then after I'm done with this, I'll put you on, Marcelo. Marcelo is the author of Children of the Land, a memoir, Senzonto, I'm so sorry I butchered that, um, which was the winner of the A. Poulin Junior Prize and Dulce, winner of the Drinking Gourd Prize. He is a founding member of Undocu Poets, which eliminated citizenship requirements for all major poetry book prizes in the U.S. and was recognized with the Barnes & Noble for Writers for Writers Award. He was the first undocumented student to graduate from the Helen Zell Writers Program at the University of Michigan. He currently teaches in the Creative Writing Program at St. Mary's University and the Ashland Low Res MFA Program, as well as poetry workshops for incarcerated youth in Northern California as the Yuba and Sutter County Poet Laureate. So let's give it up for Marcelo. Hi, everyone. Um, can everybody hear me okay? I hope there's not too much background uh, chatter. Apologies. Um, it's been such a whirlwind day in all the best ways because I get tingly right before I know I'm going to spend time with people that I care about. So thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I wish I could be there in person. And I am here with all my virtual students, too. So thank you. I'm just going to read um, um, a few poems. Uh, and again, um, thank you, Chloe. Thank you, everyone else. Sub erotica papers. And I'm just covering my mic so that I can't, so there's, uh, so there's not that much noise. Again, I'm sorry. Your body was the darkest thing on me, filled with panic and thirst. At last, you opened my eyes and said, look at me. Look at me, goddammit. So I did. Neither of us knew what we wanted, but would do anything to have it. You said, I want to believe this is art, even if we don't change. We took off our clothes and fucked each other in front of our friends. We wanted them to watch and throw flowers at us. We wanted to be angry at something we could name. I ran through the streets yelling, get it while it's hot. You kept predicting the future. It was something like this. Our friends applauded. We bowed. The judges asked to see it again, but we didn't know how, so we burned the fields and the cattle died. In the end, what did I know about touching a man with the same hands I used to cut grapes? What did I know about touching a woman? Have we barely begun our departure? Dear judges, None of you can imagine the incredible amount of money it costs to be poor. Um, I'll look to everyone in the, in the, in, in, on Zoom with just like a thumbs up if there's not too much background noise. Um, I'll keep it brief. This is uh, a, a gesture of pursuit. I want to be the bride days later when she's no longer a bride combing her hair in the mirror. But it is too late. I've already locked myself in my room and imagined every variation between witness and music. I want everything to touch me before it is bright enough to slip through the house undetected. Like the sound of a child in the womb tending its own window, in which case anything is bright enough. Is it too much to ask? All I want is to run out of a church, throw a bouquet 
and hop in a car like my mother always wanted. And I'll end with this poem. It's uh, an essay on synonyms for tender and a confession. Um, it's, it's about my name, and my students will have an exercise in which we write about our names soon. So um, uh, this is what came from, my, from this exercise. It's for Sandra Maria Esteves. My father's name is also Marcelo, is all you need to know. Color it all blue. My father and my father's father and his, Marcelo and another Marcelo, Marcelo, Marcelo. And all of us in one suitcase that hasn't been opened. I haven't been opened. And I say to my father, I want to be all pink for one day to name each part of me after the names of my mother's lovers, to throw my head back and dance like someone pretty or just hold the shame in my hand. And sometimes this doesn't stop me. My name, a 200-year-old word for please, as in Please let me open the suitcase, as in, please let me play whatever is inside. And sometimes my name talks to me. It says, you ain't shit. It says, I could send you flowers, but what's the point if they will still be flowers when you get them? It says, even the priests are lonely. It comes to me as one priest confessing to another. Marcelo, I want the red dress and to throw my hair up real beauty queen style. And if I'm lonely, put the bright birds back in their cages. Marcelo, I'm not ready to be dipped in water like you, like a father. And so I opened the lid and held each flute inside like shattered glass. But there was no song. There was hardly any glitter. And the priest, who is no longer Marcelo, and the flute, which is no longer Marcelo, and the lover who is, I don't know what it means to name a child. When he said my name, I opened his eyes. I played the song. Neither of us knew how it ended. We would have paid anything at all to make it stop. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Marcelo. Thank you.